So a bit of a casualty from uh, our last adventure there, as I mentioned during the last video that uh, my ABS and traction control light was going crazy. So I brought it in and had it scanned and uh, they determined it was a sensor. So we got that one taken care of, but now we've got this. That's right, an engine light. Generally not really a big deal. So I, I had them scan it since it was there anyways. And uh, he came back and told me it's uh, bank one, bank two, lean. System catalyst efficiency, two lean. Um, which can point to catalytic converters, but it can also point to an exhaust leak. And I asked him that, I said, could it be an exhaust leak? And he's trying to convince me, no, that it 100% needs catalytic converters. And I am 99.99% .99 certain that this code is being thrown because I have an exhaust leak, which is quite pronounced when I start the vehicle up when it's cold. And if I'm driving and I come to a stop, I got a stoplight, uh, the odd time I can smell exhaust, which again, points to an exhaust leak. So I went out and I bought the kit for the exhaust manifold gaskets and exhaust manifold bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw them in. I'm gonna clear the code. I bought uh, a little scanner so I can clear the code so I don't have to go back there. But um, I wanna do this and I wanted to document it because I thought that was kind of interesting that they were just pointing the finger directly at what is probably one of the most expensive parts on 90% of the newer vehicles these days without even considering that it might be, you know, less than a hundred dollar fix. So let's get these thrown in and we'll see what happens. Well, that's not a good start. That is literally the first bolt I touched, but it just goes more in line with what I was saying that uh, I was pretty certain I had a pretty substantial exhaust leak up here. That's the one there. So, change of plans, I'm going to pull out all the inner fender and drop the exhaust manifold and go from there. Alrighty, so what I've done is I've removed the inner mud guard, I believe it's called. Now we're gonna undo those two, I believe they're five eighths bolts from the collector to the header. And as you can see, I have sprayed it with some uh, penetrating oil. So let's keep trucking along here. Something kind of funny here. So I let everything uh, soak with penetrating oil for a while and I was just going to break these loose and have a look at this. She is not tight at all. So that's probably the main source of my leak, but now I've opened up a can of worms with discovering the broken bolt on the manifold. So I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna do the gaskets anyway, since that bolt is broken. May have to plane down the manifold, but we'll find out when we get in there. All right, I'm gonna show you a bit of a trick that a uh, old timer taught me quite some time ago about removing exhaust manifold bolts. You know, we all kinda wanna get in there and just start reefing on things, but that's not really the way you wanna go about this. So I'm just setting my ratchet up here. And let's go ahead and get this guy in loose in here. Okay. So basically what I like to do, I mean, it's not a matter of what I like to do. It's, to me, I think it's the right thing to do. So I'm going to crank on this backwards just a little bit. There you go. Starts to go. I'm going to tighten that back up. And I did soak these. They soaked with penetrating oil for about two hours, so. A little bit back, a little bit forward, and I just keep repeating that until I feel that it's super loose, just like that. So I don't know if you can see that. Now she's good to go, but you, what you don't want to do is you don't want to go through and undo every single one. You kind of want to snug it back up and then move over to your next one. There we go. So we'll just do that same thing again, a little bit back. Starts to go right there. Tighten it back up. There we go. This one came really good. There we go. So I'm just gonna go through it. I'm gonna do that on all of them. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do to get that broken one out. 
And there we go. Just like that, we have our exhaust manifold. And as you can see, this gasket's actually blown apart. So this, I'm assuming, was leaking for quite some time. I mean, you can see all the nastiness. So, yeah. It's not a very hard job at all. Now I have to go ahead and I'm gonna spray that, that broken stud. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just thread two nuts on there and lock them together and hope for the best, really. <laughs> all right, so what I've done, I don't know if you can make that out, but I've threaded uh, two nuts on there. Yeah, one's a castle nut, because unfortunately that's all I have that's the same thread pitch. So now I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna lock them together and slowly jiggle it back and forth exactly like I did on the others. All right, so we got that locked together. Let's give this a tug and see what happens. See that? There we go. Yes, my wrench doesn't fit. It's actually a, it's supposed to be a different size, but... There we go. Back and forth. I'll pick up with you once I get that out. And there we go. Exactly like the other ones. I didn't rush it. It got it loose back and forth. It took a lot more wiggling than I thought, but there's our broken stud. So yeah, I, I strongly recommend if you're ever doing any exhaust work, try to do that. It just makes things so much less risky. So I'm going to clean up these surfaces here and put a straight edge on my... Ooh, that's, that could be oil from what I just sprayed. <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> All right, let's uh, start reassembly here. Cleaned it up. Got the new hardware in there. Put a straight edge on it. It's it's a little bit warped, but you know what? I'm not paying $400 for a new manifold. I'll wait till I put headers on there. So just throwing it back together. Yeah, I'm putting new hardware in. I'm not messing around with anything old. So yeah, there we go. Three more bolts. No, two more bolts to get in and then torque them down and then on to the other side. Now I won't bore you with that one. I'll leave you with that. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Alrighty. So it's been a couple days. I've been driving around quite a bit. And yeah, no more engine engine light. No pending DTCs or nothing. So it was all related to the exhaust manifold gaskets. Exactly like I thought. <laughs>